Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. The United States Navy, being one of the most advanced in the world, features a powerful fleet of modern combat vessels, some of which are constructed with extremely high budgets. Despite its place as one of the strongest, it continues to carry out research and innovation into newer and higher classes of weapons. In November 2011, the U.S. decided to build the Zumwalt-class guided missile destroyer. This uniquely shaped vessel was designed as a multi-role stealth ship to focus not only on land attack, but also on surface and anti-aircraft warfare. Originally, 32 of these massive destroyers were to be built on a research and development budget of 9.6 billion. But the project never succeeded. So much so that on the 15th of October, 2016, instead of 32, only three were finally commissioned. In today's feature, let us explore the backstory of this unique class of naval vessels, alongside a few other massive military projects whose original plans were never fully actualized. Stealth ships for naval gunfire support and anti-aircraft warfare have been in existence for more than a century. However, the constant development of highly advanced and modern vessels has been the backbone of the U.S. Navy. But during the construction of the USS Zumwalt, it became clear that the construction project for this next-generation destroyer class will not be fully achieved. As the construction proceeded, costs overran estimates, and the quantity was reduced to 24, then to 7, and finally to 3 significantly increasing the cost per ship to 4.24 billion. By 2016, the total program cost was an outrageous 22.5 billion. This dramatic per unit cost increase eventually triggered a breach and cancellation of further production of the Zumwalt class warships. Nevertheless, the first three that were constructed stood out as the finest in their class of naval vessels. An unprecedented level of automation, driven by the first of its kind total ship computing environment, advancing the efficiency and operation of the ship while helping the Navy to achieve its manning goals, and a state-of-the-art battle-resistant weapon launching system designed to fire missiles for sea, land, and air attack. But soon, one of the advanced weapon systems on the USS Zumwalt, the Advanced Gun System, or AGS, was in jeopardy. The AGS uses customized 155 millimeter ammunition with a range of over 50 nautical miles with separate projectile and propellant systems. When the AGS was conceived in 2004, the cost per round was estimated at $35,000. After reducing the number of ships from 32 to 3, the cost per round climbed to an astronomical $800,000. While looking for a replacement for the advanced gun system, U.S. naval experts considered fitting the USS Lyndon B. Johnson, the third of the Zumwalt class ships, with a railgun, an electrically powered weapon. The large Rolls-Royce gas turbines producing 78 megawatts would have been sufficient to deliver the extremely high electrical currents for such a weapon. But then, the U.S. Navy cut the funding for the railgun as well in 2021, leaving the Zumwalt class again without a viable weapon system. Meanwhile, 
The funding for the canceled destroyers of the Zumwalt class was redirected into the purchase of more Arleigh Burke class destroyers, which were the U.S. Navy's initial fleet of guided missile destroyers. The gun system on the Arleigh Burke class does by far fall short of the range of the AGS. But its proven technology and ammunition system is also very advanced. Also, the cost of an Arleigh Burke class destroyer is just about one quarter of that of a Zumwalt. Another example of a leading edge technology that faced a premature end is the Seawolf class of nuclear powered fast attack submarines. which was intended to succeed the Los Angeles class. Built from high yield strength, HY-100 grade of steel, and with a strengthened sail system, it permitted operations under the Arctic ice cap. It was also equipped with the most advanced combat and sonar systems. However, its cost ran up to three billion per ship much higher than the previous generations of nuclear submarines. When the Cold War ended and global geopolitics started to change, instead of 29 submarines that was originally envisioned, production of the Seawolf class was halted at the third submarine. Following this, the Navy opted for the development of a more cost-effective vessel, which gave birth to the Virginia class. As of today, more than 20 Virginia class submarines have been launched and another 19 already ordered by the US Navy. A similar fate as that of the Zumwalt class befell the F-22 Raptor the advanced tactical fighter jet conceived in the 1980s. Born in an era of emerging threats by new Soviet air defense systems, the F-22 Raptor is a fast and highly maneuverable aircraft, capable of operating at very high altitudes and reaching a top speed of Mach 2.25. Fitted with powerful afterburners, the single-seat, twin-engine, all-weather stealth tactical fighter aircraft can reach targets faster even while flying in fuel economy mode. Originally planned as a batch of 750 aircraft, the quantity was dropped to a mere 187 when the price per aircraft climbed from 35 million in 1985 to over 186 million in 2008. But the exploding costs were not the only problem of the F-22. Continued trouble with its oxygen system and increasing fatal crashes were some of the contributing factors. While any attempts to revive the F-22 program in later years have failed, a new star appeared at the horizon, the F-35 Lightning II a single-engine stealth multi-role combat aircraft. Conceived as a joint strike fighter that could also be exported to allied nations, it had from the very beginning the potential to be produced in much higher numbers. More than 700 of these aircrafts have been built and delivered to customers worldwide, with the U.S. aiming for a total of about 2,500 F-35s in the coming years. With an increased demand for this flying marvel across the world's defense forces, the cost of the aircraft has dropped from 221 million in 2007 to just 79 million apiece. Instances such as these have proven that technological breakthroughs come at a price. And as the world continues to advance in their quest for more sophisticated weaponry, even abandoned projects like the Zumwalt class of destroyers 
may one day be taken up again, hopefully with greater and more cost-effective improvements. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.